All right, and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to briefly talk about the penetration testing life cycle. Uh, this will be pretty brief, but an important concept for you to understand. All right, so there are five phases to penetration testing. They range from the beginning getting to know your target to um, using what you know about the target to um, exploit them, and then submitting your reports to, um, to your client. So the first step is reconnaissance. This is where you learn about your target organization, its network, um, and specific targets or hosts. Um, the thing about this is this is often a phase where you'll Google things, um, you look at Wikipedia, you'll go to the company's site, look at their about page, um, and really get to know the company. Um, the second phase is scanning, which builds off of the reconnaissance phase. Um, oh, and in the reconnaissance phase, you may find out um, who is data. Um, you could also discover uh, what net blocks the company owns and things like that. So then the second phase, we build the second phase, which is scanning, we build off of reconnaissance. And we, get, and we gain more knowledge about the target network um, and other targets. You often do this through um, tools like Nmap, which is a net network mapper. Um, you often will find uh, in this phase um, vulnerable, vulnerable ports or things like that. Um, once you've done that, you move on to the third phase, which is exploitation. This is the quote-unquote traditional hacking phase um, where we're, we think about, and the public thinks about hackers. This is the phase that we're usually thinking about. Um, this is where we go ahead and we actually exploit the target. We break into it. And the goal here is to break in without being noticed. The fourth stage is maintaining access. So once you've exploited a machine, you've gained access, um, an important phase is, and, and this you may or may not do this depending on um, the scope of your penetration test, but um, typically you'll maintain access um, so you can get back in easier and continue your um, your exploitation without having to go through the third phase all over again. Um, and then the last phase is reporting. So typically with a penetration test you will write up a report of what you've done. That report will include um, at the beginning an executive summary for non-technical executives. Um, and it's basically just a summary of we found these vulnerabilities, um, these are the issues, these are the steps you should do to remediate the issues. Um, and then the rest of the report will be um, a detailed, um, will have detailed information, um, typically for the IT team. Um, and it'll talk about um, the specifically what type of access you've gained um, and the steps you, gain, you did to gain that access. So those are the five steps of the penetration testing lifecycle. And um, if you have any questions or comments about this, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below and we will get back to you um, as soon as we can. So thank you for watching this and hope you have a great day.